Hey guys, so what is up? My pet mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I just want to go through what my GPU mining strategy is going to be for the next couple years. Okay, so I'm going to go through a lot of different things. This will be a decently long video, but I just want to give you guys my thought process, my opinion, my perspective of how I may see things and this none of this is financial advice. Please do not do what I do because I don't want to be blamed. <laughs> Again, not financial advice. First, I want to go through what you guys voted for in terms of what your GPU mining strategy is. And it looks like a lot of you voted for still mining, not selling GPUs. Uh, I will continue to mine in the bear market and still mining and buying GPUs. Fourth one here is mining Ethereum only and hodling. So that's fourth place. And the fifth place one here is continue to mine and hodl and not sell until next cycle. So the top five things here is pretty much like what I'm doing. All right. <laughs> it's like everything that you guys voted for is exactly what I'm doing. So that's it. You guys can close the video, but no, I'm going to explain more like in terms of GPU buying and also what coins I'm going to be mining. All right. So yeah, this is going to be a, it's going to be a fun video guys. But also I just want to end off here that this last part, the sold the recent top of 60k Bitcoin and also sold all GPU hardware at the top. Looks like nine of you voted for that. Good on you for the nine people that did that. That's, that's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll have this link down below. You guys can see the results for what you guys were. There's a couple thousand votes here, which is pretty awesome. Okay guys, thanks for that. Okay. So before I go into my GPU mining strategy, I, I just want to be real candid with you all here regarding to why I am into crypto in the first place. And so maybe some of you guys can relate as well, but this is going to coincide with what my plans are. And I'm just going to begin first that, you know, crypto mining, in my opinion, is just is a long game, right? This is a long haul type of thing. I believe that crypto mining is not a get rich quick scheme. It has never been a get rich quick scheme at all. I would say crypto mining is a form of passive income. So in terms of, you know, people wanting to maybe not work a nine to five job or anything anymore, or maybe just want to simply invest in an alternative asset or just want to invest in something else, right? They want to do something or maybe their hobby is, you know, computer parts and they've, they've tied that in into crypto mining. So exactly for myself, like I've been into computer hardware since I was a kid. So when I saw and, you know, saw mining Ethereum back in 2017 was a thing. I was like, oh man, this is sick. You can use video cards and, you know, motherboards, power supply, CPUs to mine this cryptocurrency. This is cool, right? And so I started back then and ever since then I was hooked. And then after that, I around end of 2018, I started this YouTube channel and I, I was just putting everything together because I also really wanted to help people get into crypto mining and also just, I, you guys know I do this these videos, you know, just giving my opinion and perspectives and it seems like people want to listen to that kind of stuff and you guys really enjoy that for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, but thank you for that. Thank you guys. And and, uh, you know, I'm just doing all this because I find it really enjoyable and I'm super passionate about all of this, right? I've been full fledged into this pretty much for the past couple of years. And every day, every single day, I'm always researching something. So for me, crypto and mining, it's this is a long term thing for me. And so the prices that we are seeing today is is just nothing to me until I have a certain goal that I want where I can essentially retire. Okay. So these profits that we're seeing right now, it, it, it doesn't ultimately, it doesn't matter to me. And I know everyone's financial state is going to be different. All right. A lot of people are unable to pay for their electrical bill out of their pocket. So they're going to have to sell crypto. I am fortunate in this position to be able to do that. So I run this YouTube channel just to be very transparent, very candid with you guys. I run this YouTube channel. I make money through AdSense. I make money through Amazon Associates and other means as well. Okay. So it's not just crypto mining for me. That's, that's all thanks to you guys who watch my channel. I really, truly, truly appreciate all of you. Going along, guys, my conviction as well into crypto is not only just, you know, what I just talked about, but I believe in crypto in the long term in terms of being a new financial paradigm in, 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 the, in the financial space in some form or fashion. And you guys recently heard about El Salvador and making Bitcoin legal tender. That's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. There's been a lot of backlash about that amongst, you know, all the banks and financial institutions. But Interesting enough, I think that's pretty cool. That that might shake up things in a bit in the world. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. But 
long term, I still believe in crypto. I believe that everything that we're doing is for a reason. And so the way that the community is right now, the way that crypto, how how big it is right now, it has come a long way since in 2009, right? So look at it now. It's it's crazy how big the community is, how many people are invested in cryptocurrency, even even banks, unfortunately. So uh, big investment firms and all that kind of institutional investors and just regular people, regular residential miners like ourselves, uh, also non-miners as well, are, are into it, right? So anyways, a lot of other things as well for me, I, I, I am trying to, you know, I think all of us are trying to invest in something, get out of the rat race, stop working a nine to five job, trying to create some some sort of financial freedom of some sort. For me as well, I also believe that crypto is a is a hedge against inflation, and we've definitely seen, you know, in terms of the fiat value, that you know it's definitely beating inflation, right? It's it's amazing. Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, all any type of coin that we have right out in the market right now, it's it's been doing amazing, right? Okay, anyways, guys, I thought I'd just, you know, just talk about that just a little bit, just to give you guys my, uh, just, just, I, I have never really talked that way before. I've only talked about just, you know, GPU mining and profitability and, you know, that kind of stuff. I never really, really talked about the, like, kind of fundamental aspect of, you know, why we're in crypto. So that's maybe something you guys can also think about as well. Why are you doing this in the first place, right? Uh, maybe that should have been another video. Anyways, I want to talk now about buying graphic cards. When am I going to be buying graphic cards? So for me, I'm still buying graphic cards. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I know that there's a silicon shortage and stuff right now. So buying anything at MSRP is next to impossible, right? But, you know, when I have a chance to buy a GPU, I will pretty much take it. I, I'm not going to spend enormous amounts. Like, Right now, RTX 3070s, in my opinion, are are great buys, but not at 1300. All right, if you can get them for maybe less than a thousand dollars, then that's okay. That's okay. It's a little bit. It'll be definitely over MSRP, a little bit scalped, but not 1300. Not even like not 1500. Like that, that's still ridiculous to me. I have seen prices of GPUs come down a little bit as of making this video, but it's not not that much, not that much, even though the market's kind of, it's been, it's gone in half since, you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin was like, what, 64,000 or something. Ethereum was like 42,000 or something. Now we're at 2,400. So obviously, you know, profitability is like cut in half, also, but dependent on the transaction fees. But anyways, to go along with my plans in the coming future is if and when, if the next eventual bear market does come and when profitability tanks, then I will be definitely buying more GPUs when, if the prices come down, of course, okay? Uh, dependent on the pandemic, dependent on silicon shortage, the, just a whole range of things. If people are liquidating their GPUs next to nothing, I will probably jump on it, all right? That's the next bear market for just 3070s, 3060 Ti's even. If they become cheap again, that is going to be my plan in the coming future during the bear market because during the bear market is when is the best time to buy graphic cards when it's when the prices are low right and then mine when difficulties are low obviously difficulties for a bunch of different coins are going to be low right it's the profitability will definitely suck right in terms of fiat value but when you're mining during the bear market when the network difficulty is lower network hash rates are lower you will then be yielding a lot more of the coin, all right? So when you're yielding more of the coin, then your goal is to pretty much just hodl until for the next eventual uh, bull run, all right? The next cycle, per se. Obviously, that's a big risk. We don't know if that's going to be a thing, but not financial advice, but that seems to be what has happened in the past and up until this cycle that we are in right now, okay? I'm going to correlate that with coins, all right? So I'm going to be talking about what coins I'm going to be mining right now. Right now, my main graphic cards, most of my graphic, not all of them, but most are mining Ethereum, all right? And dual mining Zilliqa, which it's pretty much free, right? You're not losing any profits at all in terms of if for anyone that's just mining Ethereum straight, that's no problem, right? But if you're also going to be mining, uh, if you want to dual mine Zilliqa, 
it's it's pretty much the same. You're not you're not losing any Ethereum profits at all, but you're also gaining Zilliqa. For me, the reason why and link down below, by the way, if you guys want to start mining on Ezil, I think it's it's pretty easy. You guys go to their how to start mining. But anyways, the reason why I am dual mining ETH Zill at the moment. OK, so let me talk about Zilliqa, then I'll talk about Ethereum. So Zilliqa for me, I since, you know, for me, I'm not like I'm just hoping to hodl Zilliqa until the next the next cycle, the next whenever Zilliqa decides to go parabolic again. And right now, like, for example, if you were dual mining Ethereum Zilliqa for the past couple of years, you were, you were probably yielding a lot of Zilliqa in the past during the bear market, right? And during this time, right, if you're hodling it and waiting it up until the next blow off top that we've had for Zilliqa, oh man, oh man, you've probably made thousands, if not millions, depending on how big your farm is. Uh, it, <laughs> Zilliqa went up a lot, right? Okay, so from two cents to like 20 cents or something, right? But this is not financial advice. I have absolutely no idea in the future if Zilliqa is going to do uh, going to do this kind of thing again, ever again, all right? I have absolutely no idea. This is just something that I'm doing and uh, let me know what you guys think about Zilliqa. Anyways, to go along with Zilliqa since I'm dual mining is now I'm mining Ethereum, all right? So Ethereum, it's obviously, you know, the second top coin in market cap. There's a huge, huge community with Ethereum. So for me, and as you guys know, you know, Ethereum is going to be ending uh, proof of work potentially in the next six months or nine months at the latest, according to Vitalik. Who knows? It could be delayed. But that right now, that is the current time frame for the Ethereum merge to turn off proof of work. All right. And they're going to go to proof of stake. So for me, I believe, yeah, you know, Ethereum could go up even more or just long term, even, I mean, it, it could go down even more now, but I'm thinking long term here, the next couple of years, uh, maybe the next decade, Ethereum could be, you know, much more than that, what we're seeing now, okay, in terms of fiat value. And, uh, you know, for me, I think Ethereum has a lot of value because, again, the community is huge, right? You can't, you can't fight against the community and you guys, and especially with the miners as well, you guys, I'm, I'm sure most of you all are mining Ethereum right now because again, it's probably the most profitable coin at the moment. But are any of you hodling Ethereum, hoping that in the future, Ethereum will do much better in terms of price and also fundamentally and whatever they're working on? Who knows, right? Who knows? This is something I'm gambling, I'm risking. So that's, that's pretty much my plan. All the way up until proof of work is finished I'm mining as much ethereum and zilliqa that i can and then after that okay let me talk about my strategy after ethereum and zilliqa is probably going to be ravencoin or ethereum classic unless ethereum classic goes to sha3 which is a asic uh, fpga centric algorithm so <laughs> that's something i'm following still but i'll let you guys know uh, so yeah i mean we don't know. I'm not quite sure what coin I'm going to be mining after Ethereum Zilliqa. So we'll see. We'll see about that. This is not sponsored or anything. Link down below if you guys want to mine Ezil. Okay, going along, guys. Now, I want to just also coincide with the Ethereum Zilliqa, uh, why I'm doing that, along with um, just, you know, market dominance, uh, Bitcoin dominance charts. So right now, it is actually pretty nice to be mining altcoins into Bitcoin. Don't get me wrong. The Bitcoin dominance right now, it's been going lower and lower and lower. And so Ethereum dominance and altcoin dominance have been going up. Thus, the profitability is really nice, right? You can exchange the altcoins into Bitcoin. So you'll be getting more Bitcoin essentially, right? Compared to what it was last year. The Bitcoin dominance was way higher. And so, you know, if you're trading Ethereum into Bitcoin last year, you'd be getting much less Bitcoin. Just to show you guys that disparity, right? And so, yeah, there are there is a strategy right now. It could be potentially not financial advice that, you know, mining altcoins into Bitcoin it could be a nice play right now because we don't know how long this Bitcoin dominance is going to stay. Right. But then we don't know if altcoin season is over yet. So there's a lot of different things, right? A lot of different things out there. I'm not playing that game at the moment. I was doing it a little bit, but now my play right now is to be just mining Ethereum 
and Zilliqa and and just doing that until Ethereum turns off proof of stake. That that's just my that's just my current strategy as of right now. Okay. Anyways, guys, going along, going along. Now I want to talk about my other coins that I'm mining right now on some other rigs. So you guys know and probably kept up with my channel. I do have a bunch of four gigabyte cards, you know, 580 four gig cards. So I have some of them mining Raven coin and I have some of them also mining Ethereum Classic. Now, my reasoning for that is for Ravencoin, there is a halvening coming up for Ravencoin in January, roughly in January of 2022. So uh, it's going to happen at block 21 million. All right, they'll have their first halvening and, and the block rewards will drop from 5,000 to 2,500. So yeah, pretty much cut in half. So will Ravencoin, you know, during that time in January, will the price action or will Ravencoin at least have price appreciation? during the happening, right? We don't know. I'm not sure. That's something I'm I'm risking. I, I'm mining with a bunch of my four gig card rigs. They're mining on Ravencoin, all right? So that's something I'm doing right now. Let me know if you guys are doing that as well. I know right I know that re recently, I would say the past uh let's see, back in February 19th, Ravencoin went to a really huge all-time new all-time high. So again, for people that were mining a uh, Ravencoin for the past couple of years and hodled it up until the recent up up trend here, oh my God, you you've made a lot. All right, so uh, obviously right now it's uh, the Ravencoin hash rate has definitely come down uh, because the profitability has also come down because the the price of Ravencoin has come down. You guys can see here. So pr this really depicts the uh, the network difficulty for Ravencoin. You guys can see right here. Actually, uh, let me move it here. The Ravencoin difficulty has dropped off a cliff. That's when the profitability, the pr sorry, the price of Ravencoin went down, and so a lot of people moved their rigs over to Ethereum Classic. All right. So let me talk about Ethereum Classic now. I am into Ethereum Classic, also on some four gig cards. I'm I'm just I'm I'm uncertain regarding Ethereum Classic, but I'm mining some of it just for the future because Ethereum Classic does have liquidity, they have volume, and so this is a coin that has done some some ups and downs, definitely a, a huge recent up, just like Ravencoin. So who knows? Who knows, right? In the future regarding Ethereum Classic, you know, they could have another huge 10x, 100x run, right? In the next couple of years, who knows? In the next cycle, who knows? I'm not quite sure, but that's that's something I am playing out in the near, in the next future, the next, the next cycle, sorry. Okay, going along guys, the next coin that I'm also mining on one rig right now is Ergo. So Ergo is definitely a coin that has just gone up recently out of nowhere. I mean, I mean, they do have some interesting stuff fundamentally that's happening on their on their network right now. I know I know a lot of you guys are mining Ergo because it's profitable per se. So uh, let me know. Let me know. And I forgot I don't have my other stuff here, but I'm also mining Dogecoin, Bitcoin. I also have my ASICs on Bitcoin and Dogecoin uh, Litecoin as well. I forgot to talk about that. But yeah, I'm basically mining for the long term. Like, I don't know about you guys, but that's that's basically it. I'm just mining a bunch of coins. And so the profitability that we're seeing here today, it doesn't really matter to me. It, I'm mining for the long haul. Like I said, I'm going to be paying my electrical bill out of my pocket because I am I'm able to. I'm luckily able to. And then that's thanks to all of you guys who watch my channel and all that stuff. So really, I really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, I think I've talked long enough. That's basically what my strategy is right now. I know that there are a lot of other coins out there you could be mining. And so what I talked about today, mining all these different coins, Ravencoin, Ethereum Classic, can definitely go along with other coins out there. Firo, okay, it's not it's not just Ravencoin or Ethereum Classic. Grin, Swap, Conceal, v Cortex, Veil. There's, there's a lot of different coins out there. Uh, Vertcoin, you know, I, I'm not just trying to... Uh, there's a bunch of other coins I could... I could be mining as well, but ultimately I don't think in terms of long term that we can go wrong, okay? And if it does go wrong, then then so be it, right? Then I was wrong. But again, this is why I'm making this video so I can come back to here in the next year, the next 2 years and see if I was right, right? Doing dual mining Ethereum and Zilliqa or Mining Ethereum Classic or Ravencoin up in the next Havening. We're going to come back to that in the next six months, I guess, when Havening happens. And so, yeah, that's basically it, guys. I don't know what else to say. I, yeah, that's it. Let me know your guys' thoughts on my strategy as of right now. 
of what I talked about uh, buying GPUs during the bear market. I mean, I'm buying GPUs now, but I'm definitely, I have some funds saved to do that in the bear market as well. So I'm excited to do that. And you guys know, I make videos during the bear market and during the bull market as well. So anyways, thank you all for watching. Let me know if you guys got to the end and uh, yeah, let me know what your guys' strategy is. Anyways, I think I appreciate you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.